and thanks for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to know your money. And today we are talking about bank accounts that will give you a chance even if you were in check systems or that don't even use check systems at all. So I know that a lot of people may have experience being in check systems. Check systems is a a company rather um, kind of like a credit bureau but if you have bounced checks or you have had um, late fees or any of those insufficient fund fees and all of that stuff some banks will put you into what's called check systems and that will prevent you from getting checking accounts bank accounts and sometimes other creditors look at that to see if you have you know payments or things that are not going forth uh, making your payment history look bad so what I, I I did do a video a while back about how to get your check systems report and then how to read it and then how to get out of check systems but this video is about whether you're when you've gotten out of check systems and then what you need to do next or if you're still in check systems and you're still working that out and then these accounts might give you a second chance so the first one is u.s bank now i know the u.s bank does not have banks or branches in every city or state when i was living in lufkin texas they didn't have a u.s bank but what i would suggest that you do is if you live in an area where they don't have u.s bank look for credit unions or banks of that nature or credit unions of that nature and then contact them and see if they have what's called a fresh start program a fresh start program is basically for you to get a new start a company or a bank will usually give you a chance. They'll say, okay, we'll open up this type of restricted account for you for a time frame to just see if you are going to pay things the way you said you would pay them or if everything uh, works out for you. And then once they see that your history is well, then they may switch you over to a regular bank account. So the first one is US Bank. The second bank is SoFi Online Bank. Now they're online, so um, when you go into the system, you may need to go around and look to, or maybe search up in their system, like a Fresh Start program, or um, making sure that they do not check check systems to approve you for the account. But they do not have any monthly fees, so that is beneficial for you because you want to make sure that when you have your money in a bank, you're not paying monthly fees and then that makes it even worse because then now you're losing your money every single month because you're paying these fees. The next one is Vero Bank, the A-R-O Bank. They also do a what's called a, a Fresh Start program, something that's going to assist you with getting a bank account and they're not going to rely on check systems to tell them whether you're worthy of their bank account. And the last one, and I always promote this one, is Chime. Chime is a bank account that has checking, they have savings, and then they also have a credit builder card. And using them is going to help build your credit up once you get the credit builder card, but also they have the savings that has an interest um, amount in there. I think right now their interest is up to 2%. So that might be something that you want to look onto. Again, they are also online or on an app. So you would have to apply that way. Now, this is very important and I want you to listen to this. If any of these banks do not approve your account you're going to have to pick up the phone and contact them there's a possibility that they might not approve it um it it you have to find out i know that i know someone who wasn't even in check systems but chime did not approve them 
So they had to pick up the phone and call and find out why aren't you approving me? There was something about the address. It wasn't even about their credit or their check systems history or anything like that. Addresses were not um, adding up the way Ch uh, Chime wanted them to add up. So they had to fix that, give them the information and make the changes. So it is doable, guys. There's this important though that you have to communicate for yourself. You can't just rely on the bank and if they say, no, we don't want to work with you. Um, or if they deny your application, you can't just say, okay, well, never mind. They didn't want me. No, you have to advocate for yourself and you have to push forward and you have to say, okay, why? Call them. Why didn't you approve me? Give me a second chance or give me a chance to prove that, you know, I'm going to do this. And that is going to help you on your road to getting yourself and your finances in order. Hopefully this information has helped you. Make sure that you like this video so that they know that people like this type of information and they can go out to more people. I'm trying to help as many people as possible. Thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said before, if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, make sure you put those in the comment section because I always respond. And if I don't have the answer immediately, I will research it and then I will get back to you in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great one. Bye.